Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Margarita and if you're not, hello, hi and welcome back. And to, for today's look, I am literally testing out the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. Like, oh my gosh, like yes. I love this look. I am so happy. I'm so proud of it. Like, I've never played with white eyeshadow before until today and really, it looks so pretty. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoy the Jeffree Star palette. Yes! Like, this is the blood sugar palette. This is my very first ever palette from Jeffree Star. And I have blue blood over there. Blue blood? Yeah, blue blood. Blue. Blue blood. And I'm excited. Like, I'm so excited to freaking try this. So this is what the packaging looks like. I'm pretty sure everyone's like, oh my god, lame. Next. Like, do blue blood instead. Like because that's newer. Yes, that's going to be a whole different video. I'm so freaking excited. So, okay, I'm opening it out and show you guys. You guys probably have seen like a bajillion videos or pictures of it, but not on my channel. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, yes. So, let's go ahead and prime our eyelids and jump into this. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm priming my eyelid using the Fit Me Maybelline Concealer and this is in the shade Fair and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on my eyelid here. Since there's a mirror in here, which first, that's freaking great. That's amazing. I can actually look in here and be like, ooh, okay, instead of having to put it down, grab a palette. But I mean, I might end up just having to grab this right here just to um, see, but it's just me. So I'm going to go in with the shade Tongue Pop right here. Oh my god, I don't want to mess it up. And I'm using a flat brush. I'm like over here like, am I picking up any eyeshadow? Yes, girl, you are picking up eyeshadow. Go ahead and tap off the excess. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in my crease over here and tap. Now I have not set my concealer that's on my eye. I just want to see how it's going to work with concealer being wet instead of being set. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab a fluffy brush and I'm going to blend this out. I love the colors in here. It's not all neutrals. There's very, I mean there's like a couple, there's like three or four of them in here that are neutral colors um, that would be great for transition shades but this palette is more like me because it's got colors in it and I love colorful eyeshadow. Um, you would rarely see me grab a brown eyeshadow palette and if you do, like check me, <laughs> check me, please. Like there's been a couple, I think I own maybe two palettes that are brown and the Smashbox one, I absolutely love that one. That's like a really good everyday look if you're not trying to have pink eyeshadow. <laughs> The next shade that I'm going to go ahead and go into, I don't know if I want to go into cavity right here or if I want to go into prick. Like, what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and grab this crease brush and I'm going to dip, I'm going to dip and prick right here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply it in the corner, like on the outer crease over here. And I'm going to go ahead and just blend this out because I do want there to be definition here. I'm going to go ahead and grab this other large blending brush from ELF and I'm going to go ahead and blend this red with, what was it, Tongue Pop? Yes. So pretty, so pretty. Oh my god, these shadows are so freaking pretty. And I'm going to grab a little bit more prick and I want to get in the inner corner over here. I don't want to lose that red. I want to make sure that red is popping. Tongue Pop was really our transition shade, and I really want this this prick. I really want this prick to show. I really want this eyeshadow, which is called Prick, to show here. Yes, wow, these eyeshadows are very nice to blend out. Like, wow. Hello. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this brush from Coastal Scents, and I'm going to dip into Cavity right here. Yes. I said it, cavity. Oof, wow, look at how pink that is. Wow. Go ahead and tap off the excess because I don't want to have too much pink. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on my outer corner over here and I'm going to do padding motions because I am going to cut the crease actually. Do a half cut crease. Yes, we love a good pink moment here. I love the color pink. Hello. And I am 
going to put just a dab over here in my inner, not my inner corner, but almost kind of like halfway. So it's between like my inner corner and my halfway point of my eye. So like between like right there, I guess. And I'm going to grab that same blending brush from e.l.f. And I just really want to blend this in with the red. So it doesn't look like it's just straight up boom pink. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Maybelline concealer, put some on the back of my hand here. And I have a e.l.f. brush here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut my crease right over here. So I'm not going to do like the whole crease, but I'm going to do like a little small crease. So I'm just going to go ahead and start carving her out here. Just be very, very patient. It does take time. Do not rush it. Okay, we're going a little bit over than what I wanted, but it's okay. Did not want to go up that high, but I'm going to try to fix it. A ver, como? <laughs> Question mark. I'm going to take this white eyeshadow called Glucose and I'm going to go ahead and put it on top of the white eyeshadow. Yes. And I'm going to go ahead and just pat this on here. Wow. Actually, really pretty white eyeshadow. I was not expecting that. Wow. You know, this is actually my first time applying white eyeshadow. Like actual white eyeshadow. I'm not talking about like skin color eyeshadow off beige eyeshadow like this is like pure white snow eyeshadow this is very pretty oh my gosh gosh wow and actually wow this is really really pretty wow so i'm gonna go ahead and take this angled brush from coastal scent and i'm gonna go ahead and grab prick here and a little bit of cavity and i'm gonna go ahead and like line it i guess you could say where i cut the crease because i want the crease to be like really really sharp like not just sharp but i mean like very mm, i just want it to look very clean go ahead and blend this out with the elf crease brush and try to carefully blend it out And I'm going to grab the same brush that i used for cavity and i'm gonna go ahead and put it on my corner over here because I want to blend the white and the pink together so it's not like that really harsh line there like you always want to blend it so there's never that harsh line because it's gonna look really weird and it's gonna be like mm, girl what you doing over there all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera put some lashes on maybe eyeliner I don't know who knows and we'll finish up doing the lower lash line and I'll be back all right guys so I have the eyelashes on the eyeliner as well I'm gonna use candy floss here and I want to highlight the brow bone up here just so it has like that pink little shimmery shimmery the pink shimmer over here oh it looks cute this can actually be in the inner corner as well so that's what i'm gonna do oh that's a cute little pink inner corner time to do the lips my favorite part and we're gonna go ahead and line our chola lips so i'm using the la lip liner in forever and i'm gonna go ahead and line these chola lips All right, so chola lips are lined, yes. So I'm using the e.l.f. Natural. I, it's a lip stick, lippy stick almost. And I'm gonna go ahead and just fill this in. This is the finished look here using the Jeffree Star palette. Midnight shadows with fun. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video of me testing out the Jeffree Star palette. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you guys want to see more of me and doing different types of makeup looks, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and comment down below. Oh, and also if you want to be notified, hit that little bell down there and you'll be notified when I do post. And yeah, I hope I will see you soon. Let me know what you guys want to see next and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Yeah.